A-Level Chemistry quick test video on calculations and for this video I've decided to go for moles and solutions. So here's the first set of questions so if you want to have a go at these pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So number one the first thing I'm going to do is work out how many moles of NaOH has gone into the 250 cm cubed of water so mass over MR gets 0.2 moles and then to work out the concentration, moles over volume, but remember volume's got to be in dm cubed. So it's moles 0.2 over 0.25, and the answer is 0.8 moles per meter cubed. Number two now, the first thing we need to do is work out how many moles of NaCl are needed for the solution. So that's concentration times volume, that many moles. And in terms of grams now, so what mass would that have? Mass is moles times MR, so it was 0.73 grams. Number three, similar to two, we've got the concentration and the volume of the solution, so we can work out how many moles of the compound are needed. So concentration times volume, 0.12, and then to work out the MR, it's mass divided by moles, so 4.08 over 0.12, 34 grams per mole. Okay, so for the second task, I've gone for a titration calculation. So if you want to process all of that, have a go and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, what I always like to do is have a little diagram sort of to talk through what's going on in the question. So basically, 2.13 grams of the carbonate is dissolved. It's put into a 100 ml volumetric flask and then 10 cm cubed of that's taken out and used in the titration. So the first thing we can do is work out how many moles of HCl were involved in the titration. So concentration times volume. So there's that many moles of HCl. The moles of the carbonate that must have been present for the titration is going to be half of that from the mole ratio in the balanced chemical equation. So that's 9.25 times 10 to the minus 4. So to work out how many moles of the carbonate are in here, and therefore also the 2.13 grams, we multiply that by 10, because this is 10 times bigger than the 10 cm cubed used in the titration. So it's that many moles. And to work out the MR of the carbonate, it's mass divided by the moles, and we get 230.3. Just so you know, I've kept the full number in the calculator. I'm going to round at the very, very end. And then to work out the mass of the two M's, we subtract 60 from the carbon and the three oxygens. That comes out at 170.3. Remember, I've got the full number in the calculator. And then if we divide that by two, we get the mass or the MR of M, 85.1. So M was rubidium because we were told at the very top of the question, it's a group one carbonate. 